Today I'm going to talk about the PFSense DNSBL and how I stopped ads on my internal network. Just a reminder, you can find the original post on my blog, link in the description along with any reference links and source code. I'm also excited to announce that our Patreon has now launched. Be sure to check it out as well as any of the other links in the description if you'd like to support the channel. Some time ago, I set up my PFSense DNSBL and I wanted to share my configuration and results. A DNSBL is a list of domains that the application or network does not properly resolve, hence the black hole. Originally, DNSBLs prevented spam emails from reaching users. In this case, I wanted to block as many ads, malvertising, and etc. as possible. To start, I installed the pfblocker ng package by going to System, Package Manager, Available Packages. To quote their description, pfblocker ng is the next generation of pfblocker. Manage IPv4 or IPv6 list sources into deny, permit, or match formats. Once I installed the plugin, I was able to configure it by going to Firewall, pfblocker ng. I enabled the blocker, told the settings to persist, and set the cron job to run every three hours. After I enabled the blocker, I clicked on DNSBL to configure my block list. I enabled DNSBL, set my virtual IP to 10.10.10.1, and kept my listening ports and interface default. With the basic settings in place, it was time to set up my actual block list. Selecting the DNSBL feeds menu option and clicking add allowed me to create a new DNS group with any number of block list feeds. I started with a number of lists from the Pi-hole ad block list. Note, do not put a link to the Pi-hole ad block list directly, but rather to each individual entry. If you do this, trust me, I did it at first, then you will only block your access to the actual block list feeds in question. To fix this, you'll need to remove the block, clear the feeds, clear the caches, and possibly restart your router. Once I had my feeds selected, I added them to my new DNS group. To test my feeds, I tried to visit an advertising site directly and the router blocked my DNS request. As a bonus, I also set up ntopng for some basic visualization. Per their package description, ntopng replaces ntop is a network probe that shows network usage in a way similar to what top does for processes. Once I installed the package, I was able to configure it by going to diagnostics ntopng settings. I enabled the plugin, told my settings to persist, changed the default admin password and configured it for my LAN. After the plugin was running, I logged in and took a look at my talkers flow. This was pretty neat to watch, but not anything that I see myself using for now. Additionally, the interface chart was cool to see how much bandwidth my network was using and when. That's it for this one, but be sure to check out this video that the YouTube algorithm suggests to you, and don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons if you want to help support the channel.